What's up everyone, it's Kadi with MoneyVest. So in this video, we are going to be talking about uh, the markets here that are now starting to roll over a little bit more aggressively. There's very, very important analysis with respect to technicals that I want to break down in this video and uh, also kind of calm everybody down because this is or this can be potentially the beginning of, let's say, a much bigger sell off or a correction or pullback because it's been long overdue. And a lot of stocks are now starting to really look weak from a technical analysis perspective, not to mention the broader markets and the indices are also looking not so great because we've seen a lot of consolidation sideways over the last uh, you know few days to, uh, to about a week here, as I've mentioned in our market updates that we're seeing a lot of buy side exhaustion and the momentum isn't really there for us to see more momentum upside. Uh, and that's why we're seeing a little bit of that exhaustion, that capitulation from the buyers, which only could lead to some profit taking, some selling pressure for, for bringing the markets back down or potentially lower. So uh, I'm going to break all of that down in this video. Technically speaking, we're going to cover the indices and we'll also talk a little bit about the percentage of stocks trading above below certain moving averages. So market breadth more specifically here. So as always, make sure that you drop a like and also do subscribe to the channel if you're just joining us for the first time. The links to our Discord and Patreon is going to be down below if you're interested in joining us. Uh, and of course, getting access to all the members-only private videos. A couple more spots left with that 16% annual discount available until the end of this month. You get access to our newsletter, which I published earlier in the week. So this right here was a newsletter for the week of March 11th. So this was for this week. Unemployment goes up, inflation stays up. So that was the headline. You can read all of it. I break down a lot of different things with respect to the macroeconomics, so unemployment, inflation, and interest rates, four different scenarios, as well as the technical analysis and tradable levels for Magnificent 7. So it's a seven-page newsletter, as you can see over here, seven pages. You can read it at your own time. And for the next week, it'll be released on Sunday. So again, I release it every week here for all the members, and you can, again, read it at your own time. So coming over to the markets, we've got the NASDAQ here down about 1.25%. Now, this is just a little bit of a glimpse of what the technical analysis looks like. It's much more cleaner and it's only based on ranges as opposed to uh, specific levels here that I share in the newsletter. Uh, so that's exactly what I'm going to go over is this is the NASDAQ, right? NASDAQ composite. If I break down the 30 minute time frame, uh, what you'll notice is that we have really just been consolidating sideways. And right now I do have the 32 exponential moving average on the chart here, which I'll go over in just a minute. But you can see that since March 20 uh so march 1st so since the beginning of march we haven't really gone anywhere on the nasdaq even going back as far as february 12th so really what we have witnessed here for the markets is just a lot of consolidation um and we have seen just the market trade sideways um for the longest time so you'll notice that we have just been um resistance wise we have just been sitting right over there uh and that's going to be sitting roughly at around 16,300. Uh, on the NASDAQ. And of course, if you take a look at the support that's going to be sitting right over here. So that's that area of consolidation that we have witnessed for uh, the market. So again, it's just been trading in that range. This is the resistance where we have consistently gone rejected over the last, I would say, couple weeks. We're not able to break past that level and a huge support sitting right over here. Now, what happens when a lot of buyers are no longer in the market when there's a not enough momentum for us to break out from this level, which is clearly a resistance for the market. Well, eventually we do see some profit takers and that's what we are witnessing on the day. And if we do end up, let's say, breaking down below this level at around 15,930s, then that could be a potential problem for the market because if you come over to the daily time frame, and there was one more thing that I identified in um, in our charts for the NASDAQ, which is going to be over here. So if I go over to the NASDAQ composite, uh, you'll notice that we are already starting to break down from this ascending support. So if I remove the support, if I remove the arrows over here, uh, you'll notice this higher low, which is the green line over here. We're already starting to see a breakdown below this level, uh, which could be concerning considering that this is the first time we're seeing this breakdown from this higher low for the NASDAQ since our recovery began in October of 2023. Every single time we've come down to this level, we've gotten bought up. Buyers have stepped in from this higher low once. They've stepped in twice. Uh, you know, three times. And now for the first time in a long time, we're starting to see that breakdown. However, there is still some horizontal support present, which is what we covered here. So that's the horizontal present on the 30 minute time frame that is still there, that is still going to be somewhat important for uh, for the NASDAQ to hold on to. But just to give you an idea, if you break down below this, which is sitting at 15,800, 
then there is possibility for us to see more downside. Same thing is true for the S&P. As you can see that we have just mostly been consolidating sideways. Uh, this has been a huge resistance. We're not able to break out above that level. Uh, that's going to be sitting roughly around 51, 5200 with a very important support all the way down here. That's going to be at around 5050. That's also what I mentioned in my previous um, video. Again, you can see the higher low, which is still very much important, very much uh, existing and, and kind of valid here for the S&P 500 from a higher low standpoint. And that right there from the higher low and the horizontal support is the important level at 5,050. Another 100 point drop on the S&P and there could be things start turning south, start turning upside down, and we could see a bigger correction and a pullback for the market. So bottom line is the Nasdaq is already potentially on its way lower considering that it broke down from a higher low. Support level at 15.8 to 16. Uh, and, and then we've got uh, the S&P 500 still a little bit of uh, momentum lower, but 5,050, very, very key, important level to watch on the S&P. Uh, talking about some of the more sort of market breadth indicators here. So this is, uh, you know, percentage of stocks that are trading above or below their moving averages. Uh, and you can see that right now, if you're 58%, so just about half the market is trading above their 200 day moving average, the other half is trading below. So the momentum is kind of, uh, you know, break even at this point. But of course, we were much higher as high as 67, 70% of the market trading above 200 day moving average. Every time we've gotten up to those levels, we've seen a pullback without any doubt. And this right here, again, is another uh, index, but this is more NASDAQ specific. And you can see that we were at one point almost at 70%. And every time we've gotten up to that level, uh, we have seen pullbacks without a doubt. So this right here, every single time we've seen the markets uh, roll over, spe especially on the NASDAQ stocks here. So this time will not be any different. Uh, and again, inside this red rectangle, very, very important levels as we have already discussed. So bottom line is just be cautious. Uh, this was a long overdue pullback, which is now coming into the market with, again, volatility jumping back over 15.5. So this is, you know, been, been something that we've been waiting for for a very, very long time. Now, I can tell you if this time also, like previous times, if the markets are going to get bought up here and the VIX is going to start come crashing down. But we need to be cautious. We need to be careful here. I'm still sitting on plenty of cash to start deploying. And this is why it is important to get your cash ready because if the market see a bigger pullback and a correction of 5 to 7%. And if the VIX jumps to over 18 to 20 levels, those are going to be optimal levels. And I will be firing off alerts in our Discord to start dollar cost averaging and buying aggressively once again. So if you want to get access to all of that, link's going to be down below. We'll love to have you on board. As always, if you enjoyed this video, found it helpful, make sure that you drop a like and also do join if you want access to our MoneyVest newsletter that I do release every weekend. So every Sunday, six, seven page report that you can simply read, get actionable trade ideas, and of course, stuff, uh, my breakdown and my analysis on everything. And what I'm personally doing is also going to be laid out in these newsletters moving forward. So as always, happy investing, and I'll see you all in the next video video.